This video will demonstrate how to run a multiple regression. In this example, we use a data set of smokers. The dependent variable will be carbon monoxide level, and the independent variables will be female, coded 1 for female and 0 for male, age, and body mass index. To run a multiple regression, we select Analyze, Regression, and then Linear. In the new window, we move CO level to the dependent box, and next highlight the three independent variables and move them to the independence box. We select OK to get the output. The model summary table shows the R square equals 0.158. Thus, in this sample, 15.8% of the variability in carbon monoxide is explained by the set of three independent variables. The adjusted R square equals 0.111 and is useful for making inference to the population. Thus, for the population of smokers, 11.1% of the variance of carbon monoxide is explained by the three variables. The next table is the ANOVA summary table and shows the test result for the entire model. The F statistic equals 3.32 and the P value equals 0 0.027, which is statistically significant. At this point, we know the three independent variables together can significantly predict the dependent variable, carbon monoxide. The last table of coefficients shows the coefficients for the regression equation and the test for the unique effect of each independent variable. The unstandardized coefficient for female equals negative 3.078. This means females have a carbon monoxide level about three units less than males, controlling for age and BMI. However, the p-value of 0.293 does not reach statistical significance. Only the variable BMI reaches statistical significance, with a p-value of 0 0.008. The unstandardized coefficient of negative 0.624 means a one-unit increase in BMI is associated with a 0.624-unit decrease in carbon monoxide level, controlling for female and age. The standardized coefficient for BMI equals negative 0.358 and is interpreted as a one standard deviation increase in BMI corresponds to a 0.358 standard deviation decrease in carbon monoxide level controlling for the other independent variables. This completes a demonstration on how to run a multiple regression.